everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ella and today we're going to be doing a 2019 prediction and this will be for anybody who has Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. So anyway Libras, I hope there will be something good showing up in this reading today. How are you guys doing? Let me know. Anyway, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, 2019 prediction. I can't believe it's already 2019. It's like so crazy. I remember, you know, when I started going very deep into astrology and since I was like 2012 and I remember I have certain predictions for me that you know have to come to pass you know this year and I was thinking like oh this is 10 years from now I will be so much older <laughs> and now it's like it's here so crazy crazy anyway let's see Libras first card Ace of Pentacles Ooh. So you guys are probably starting some major new beginning in your life this year. Maybe this is something oof, regarding your education even is what I'm getting for some. Maybe for some it's like an offer of work, an offer of love even. But let's see, it's a major, major new beginning. In King of Cups. So I think it does have to do with love. And especially if you're dealing with any kind of water sign. Scorpio, maybe Pisces, maybe Cancer. Um, there could be something really serious starting with this person, but let's see what else. Looking good so far. We have here three of swords. Let's see what it's about. And nine of cups. You know what it is? I feel like there is still some pain from the past that's kind of lingering. And the message that I'm getting is very important that you acknowledge it, whatever it is. Even if there is like a physical space in your body where you feel probably this pain. Because I feel like the wish, your wish granted is here, the wish fulfillment is here, but at the same time, if you are, you know, in a space where you're still kind of stuck in the past, you cannot fully experience it, you cannot fully grasp it, because if you're in the energy of this Three of Swords, where you're still kind of like crying over events that happened before, and I understand that some things are very traumatic, sometimes it takes, you know, a lot of time to get over something, but I feel like there's so many new amazing things that showing up on your path, this Nine of Cups, which is about fulfillment, this King of Cups, which is probably somebody who will really like, in a way, want to give you something you want. And it's important that you just don't block yourself from it. Alternatively, maybe you, some of you, could be meeting a person who are, you know, kind of like heartbroken and uh, it's important to be gentle with them in some way. Let's see what else we press. We have here also Queen of Pentacles, so let's see. We have Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the Emperor. I feel like, in a way, this person you are meeting or this person you are dealing with in this coming year shares a lot of same, you know, <laughs> same past, maybe even trauma as you do. Maybe both of you were like really, really. Uh, disappointed in your relationships but you also have grown a lot from it and I feel like this person could have Aries in their chart I feel you know what I feel like they could be like a Casper Pisces Aries uh, but then again it's general reading so you know it won't resonate with everybody it's a more specific message and I feel like you know the key here is to really just acknowledge that whatever happened happened but it's in the past just because you had, let's say, traumatic past doesn't mean that all your life is going to be like that. You know, everybody is in a way, in some way, a survivor of something. There is nobody whose like, life was ever perfect. And even if it is perfect, then usually it's also more difficult later on to kind of like awaken to understanding that sometimes, you know, things happen. And what about the deck here is also the magician. So some of you are manifesting something. So if you've been really working on manifesting a relationship, Probably this year it should show up. Anyway, guys, let's see what else. So, yes, definitely, you know, don't let your past dictate your future. You know, it's uh, and I think in the Jupiter transit, Sagittarius will 12 signs. I'm actually mentioning something about you kind of letting go of any a type of like mentality because Jupiter is in your third house, especially for Libra rising. So you will be kind of like letting go of any kind of unconstructive thought patterns. And anyway, here we have Ten of Cups. So, it's a wish fulfillment. I think this wish you had before, you know, is about this happiness, family, and things like this. So, you know, just really, really, it's like a finish line in a way here. 
it's important also like I'm getting a message for you is like let's say if you are the person who really wants to have a serious relationship or a family you know in a way it's important to meet people also who want the same thing as you do because as much as I know sometimes we fall in love and we want to change a person so much and we think if only they could change right and all of that uh, something will happen sometimes it's also about just really kind of like meeting people who want the same thing as you do and there are people like that and I know in my experience people who are happily married and people who are in more serious relationships are the ones who made a choice that from now on they're gonna avoid you know type of uh, environment where let's say people meet for other reasons and they're gonna be meeting people who also are on the same you know journey as they are and then not to say that yeah if you can meet your significant other and soulmate anywhere like honestly it's like sometimes people say no one ever meets anyone in the nightclubs but I know people who met you know in nightclubs and got married so who knows I mean like it's really it's it's part of everybody's personal path but just a word of advice is like it's important if let's say you want this set of cups you need somebody you try to surround yourself with people who want the same thing Anyway guys, let's see what else. Okay, cards that want to come out is this. Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands and the Hierophant. So, I feel like some of you will be thinking probably about going somewhere new, new location, new place. It's important that you, you know, don't overwhelm yourself, don't uh, like you know, don't overboard yourself. Try to, in a way, like, uh, make sure that, let's say, you, what do you call it, pick your fights? Pick your fights and lighten your luggage. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm getting with some of you. Because, like, if you overburden yourself, any kind of journey you're going on, like, could be not as pleasurable. And I know it sounds kind of like, you know, where did this come from? But it's just like, I recently, personally, was traveling with so much luggage, and I was like, why am I doing this to myself? So for you who, for people who are traveling, it will be probably, you know, common sense advice, but still important. But at the same time, we can apply this to other things in our life as well. We don't have to take all our, like, baggage with us wherever we go. The more we lighten ourselves, the more we, you know, take inventory, you know, of our thoughts. Let's say, you know, you notice very often that you have certain reoccurring thoughts that really are not helpful in any way and only kind of, like, screw you over. So just try to really at least be in control of your thoughts. And again, with Jupiter in third house, I feel like really there will be an opportunity this year to change the way you think about things, to transform something about this. Also, you have here the hair fan, which you could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Significant Taurus person could appear in your life. I don't know, Libra and Taurus is like, I have a lot of Libra in my family and, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not bad, no? It's, let's say it's bad, but yeah, it can work. So. <laughs> And we have here six of swords, and again, like some of you will be traveling, some of you will be leaving behind a place of residence. Let's see what else. And we also have here nine of wands and death. So it's possible that some of you are dealing with individual who's a little bit like dark, not like dark, but they're defensive in some way, probably because they have they have Scorpio maybe in their chart, chart and they've experienced a lot in their life. So. This person is defensive, but why did they show up? What do you need to know about this? I have here a set of pentacles. Maybe this is a person you work with. Maybe it's a new possible connection, like a relationship. But something about this person is significant, and I almost feel like you share similar type of background in some way. Like maybe you're similar from a similar type of family or something like this. In a way, this person will be significant. I don't know how, to be honest. The chariot, something about masculine positive force and also moving toward your goal. Anyway, Lindas, let's take you some cards from the Shaman's Oracle to see what is the spiritual lesson, the spiritual blessing of this year. We have here two cards Hunter of Gifts, uh, Hunter of Honor, and Spirit of Initiation. So I think Taurus got also about initiation. So I feel like this is the time for you to really honor all the things in your life you're grateful for, like whatever gifts you have, try to see how you can share them with the world, try to initiate things. Like if let's say 
you're in a situation where like you have friends and they're not asking you out maybe sometimes initiate like let's say message somebody first don't just wait for people to do things to you be a little bit more of initiator this year so yes guys initiate things if you can it will be very good for you anyway guys thank you so much for watching yes Aries in the seventh house so maybe something about your relationship will be very important this year again and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Astro in Wonderland. I wish you all the best 2019 and I will see you soon. Bye bye.